Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to fix Baldur's Gate 3 Vulcan error. Make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So the Vulcan error your encounter in Baldur's Gate 3 can be frustrating, but there are several potential solutions to try. So I am going to show you a breakdown of the fixes um, right here. Um, first, try installing the Beta Vulcan driver. So some users have reported success by installing the Beta Vulcan driver from NVIDIA. So you can download and install this driver to see if it resolves the Vulcan error. And keep in mind that beta drivers might, ha might have some stability issues, so proceed with caution. And then next, what you can do is to disable GPU overclocking. So if your GPU is overclocked, it might be causing instability and leading to Vulcan error. So try reverting your GPU to its default clock speeds. So if your GPU is factory overclocked, enable debug through the NVIDIA control panel. So debug mode forces the GPU to use reference GPU clocks recommended by NVIDIA or NVIDIA. So first, open NVIDIA control panel and then go to help and then debug mode and launch the Baldur's Gate 3 and see if the Vulcan error is resolved. And then lastly, what you can do is to switch to DirectX 11. So if the fixes that I've told you didn't work, you can try forcing the game to use DirectX 11 instead of Vulkan. So here's how you can do it. So first, right-click onto the game in your Steam library and then select Properties. And in the General tab, click on to Set Launch Options and just type this command right here. So you can go ahead and do that and close the window and lastly just launch Baldur's Gate 3 and see if the Vulcan error is fixed. So remember to try the solutions one at a time and test the game after each one to see if the issue is resolved. But if none of these solutions work, you sh might want to keep an eye on official forums and communities for the game as developers could reach or release patches or updates to address these kinds of error. And that's it for this video and I hope this helped you. And if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit notification bell button so you won't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.